Welcome back to the Crochet Chronicles with my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today is the silt stitch. This is a very easy stitch. It's a repeat of just one row, and we're going to get started immediately on this uh, idea. So just grab any yarn and let's play. To do the silt stitch, it's multiples of two, so no matter what size you want to do, just keep it in two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. It's also an even number if that helps you to know that. So once you're happy with the width of it, you can just measure it against something to get that. And we're going to begin row number one in a moment. Row number one, we're going to get ourselves started on the texture immediately. And you're going to come second chain from the hook, one and two. And I need you to put in a half double crochet there. The ends of each row will always be half double crochet. That'll help you to know that. Starting in the very next chain. I always use the back hump of the chain. It's just easier to my point of view. And I'm going to single crochet. And then the next stitch or the next chain is going to be a double crochet. And you're thinking to yourself, well, why did you start with a half? Just don't worry about those questions yet. So the next one is going to be a single and then a double. And I know you're also probably thinking, you said, well, how am I going to remember this? It actually will come, come to you naturally eventually. So it's a single and a double crochet combination all the way across. So I will see you close to the end of the row to make sure that you're finishing just right. So please do that. I'll be right back. When you're coming close to the end, there's two stitches that are left. So the last two, this was a double. So the second last stitch has to be a single crochet because you're keeping the balance of the, of the single, double, single, double. So it's gonna be a single. And then the very last chain should be a half double crochet. And let's turn to work and I'm gonna to talk to you about squatting next. Going forward, the rest of the project is a multiple of what you just saw, and it's in the same exact positioning. So because um, that, the ends have to be a half double crochet because the single crochet is forcing the, the double crochet to squat down, and it's also trying to pull the single crochet upward. So it's trying to find a balance there so you get this texture that you see. So whenever you start a new row going forward, just chain up one only and half double crochet in the first. Now you're gonna be able to see it underneath, but the next one, see this is a single crochet. You wanna start with a single crochet always. So the single will always sit in the single and the double will always sit in the double. Because of the push and the pull of the tension of the squatting, it naturally wants to uh, congeal together. So the next one has to be a double crochet. So the next one is a single and you can tell the difference of the look of the stitch. So there's not much to this stitch underneath, so that's a single. You see there's a lot more bulky, so this has to be a double. So it's a good way to keep your eyes on the, on the prize without losing your counts. So single and double. And you're doing this all the way across like you had been on the first row. But now that you can see what the stitches are below, it's easy to be able to maintain the look. So the, the second last stitch has to be a single, and it's a single underneath anyway, so that's right. And then the very last stitch is just a half double crochet. I'll show you one more row, and you can continue. So just chain up one, so half in the, in the first, and always start off with a single. You can see it's single underneath, and so the next one has to be a double. So it ends up being a completely different look and it helps break away the lines of crochet. So normally when you double crochet or single crochet in rows, you can really see the train tracks of the crochet. So this helps break it up a bit more and to make it more fabric-y um, in a texture look and instead. So it's very desirable as well. So this is something that you may wanna consider with your projects to be able to try. Great for blankets, other things like that, clothing, a great stitch and remember the last stitch has to be a half double crochet just like that so when you're ready to finish just uh finish off so just fasten off because we didn't start off with a single crochet row you may just want to look at it and say well you know 
everything is kind of in pairs. And so you can see one side will look different than the other. So if I did another row of this, then this side would look kind of similar to this. Okay, so it is a double-sided pattern. Please enjoy, and we hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.